So this is a, a prototype train order semaphore I'm working on in, in N-Scale. Um, I'll explain sort of the elements of it and then we'll see it working, or at least half of it working. Uh, it still needs some refinement, but you get an idea. So uh, the objectives of the of this prototype were to show that I could use night and all, which are the two three thou, uh, the two of three thou diameter wires that you can barely see. Hopefully you can see the resolution's high enough. I wanted to be able to create a uh, semaphore that I could plug into the top of the layout so I could easily remove it for maintenance or, or cleaning. One that didn't require a lot of adjustment, especially adjustment under the layout because I don't have much room. I uh, didn't design it uh, to have a lot of space underneath it between the different decks. I'll eventually need uh, four of these uh, with the two operations east and west. So the way it works um, is the night and all runs up the center in an insulated sleeve over one turn of a pulley, which is about a two millimeter pulley, and then back down on the outside of the, um, the semaphore into uh, a barrel, and inside the barrel is a compression spring, and at the end of it is a piston. Um, so you'll be able to see it on this one here, because unfortunately I've broken one side of it. This um, blade is actually just pushed onto the end of an axle that goes through the middle of that pulley. So by moving it back and forth, you can see the motion. Uh, when I put a voltage, um, about three volts, onto the wire, about 100 milliamps goes through it and the, and the wire heats up to 70 degrees Celsius and uh, contracts by about three to 5%. And that's enough to get about 90 degree turn so I'll show how this thing works. Um, so the package actually fits into a standard eight pin dip package. So I can just simply glue those onto the top of the layout, plug in the semaphore like that. And I'm just running it off a nine volt battery. You can see I heat the wire up, moves into the off position, cool the wire down, and it moves nice and slowly without any noise into the down position. I've actually got space in there, but I haven't installed it for some Pico uh, LEDs, and my intention is to actually uh, illuminate uh, both sides of that. Uh, two Pico LEDs going up both sides, uh, have that on continually, and then um, have some small lenses in the actual blade, so you actually will get the red and the, the green uh, signal. These are two position semaphores, which is what they used on the boundary. I'll just show it one more time, and then down. And that's the semaphore. 